Hey everybody, it's me and Peoples. I'm here to talk to you about uh, the Deadpool movie and the Suicide Squad movie. Do you know what I hate most about, uh, about the people who watch the movie? It's the people who don't read the comic books or watch the cartoons about the comic book. They complain when it's inappropriate or th they don't like it. Really? I'm pissed that the parents brought their kids to see Deadpool. Even though they... Well, I'm sorry. I'm frustrated. Even though the, the news said it's going to be rated R and they didn't read the rating and they don't know squat about Deadpool or anything about his game. Uh, people... Really? Oh god. They were actually surprised that Deadpool was inappropriate. How ignorant do you have to be? It was on the news. This is going to be the first radar movie. You can see the ratings. They actually show you the ratings. And you're surprised it was inappropriate, so I hate it when people assume stuff. Not every Marvel character is the same. I like Suicide Squad and Deadpool movie, except Suicide Squad was, well, half of it was accurate. Joker didn't give two cents about Harley. He was the abusive boyfriend. She was just a stooge to him. She was one of his victims. People. Suicide Squad, like I said, half of it was accurate. I hated that parents were upset thinking that Harley Quinn was a bad role model to little girls. Hey, like, assholes, you're supposed to be your kid's role model, not a fictional character. And she's a bad guy. And she admits it. You actually thought a villain was going to be a good role model? I I think they're the type of people who idolize celebrities. You are the person your kids should look up to. Not fictional characters from comic books. Or movies. Or cartoons. Or any type of TV show. And Margaret Robbie, she was okay. Except her, the real Harley Quinn was much crazier. She wore people's faces. She would put a Joker's face on Desha and try to Desha and try to hug him, and he shot her in the stomach. And I remember Killer Croc being in Suicide Squad. I didn't have the opportunity to get in the comic books since I was young at the time, but I actually saw cartoons. It was kind of hard to get the comic books at our library. I mean, really, people, I hate it when there's people criticizing the movie, but never read the comic books and don't understand what's going on. I mean, really, I want the people who knows what's going on to critique the movie. Amanda Waller was actually, I don't know, I don't know if uh, Amanda Waller's character from the movie was more bloodthirsty or did she did you guys think she was accurate? I thought she was bloodthirsty. And you wouldn't put it past her to shoot innocent people. At least the Suicide Squad knew what kind of people they were. They weren't hypocrites. You wouldn't judge us, but at least we know what we are. We didn't just shoot a bunch of innocent people 
just now because they weren't cleared. So, I guess my lamp. So, for the lighting, it's nighttime. My parents, as you pay attention, stop being oblivious, god damn it. Really? And Deadpool was better than I expected. I read a couple comic books and saw a couple cartoons. I even saw the gameplay of the Deadpool game. Anyway, this is M People. Like, comment, subscribe, and share, please. Please. And please like and comment. This actually helps my channel. Anyway, I like. I am a comic book nerd. I have a couple of the comic books, and I grew up on watching X Men and other stuff, and Batman and other comic books. Since my dad and brother are comic book nerds, and I'm a '90s kid, so I watched the cartoon of Batman. So, anyway, this is me signing out.